I'm Sullivan Beach, and with things heating up at the presidential race, I came out here to College Green at Ohio University to ask Gen Z students about their thoughts on the upcoming election. Uh, honestly, I feel like there's a lot of uh, tension involved with it. There's, uh, there's a bunch of people that are either the Democrats or the Republicans. You know, there's a lot of fake news out there, but there's also a lot of truth to it. Um, honestly, I think that people our age should really be voting. I've been thinking in Athens, it makes it a little more like blue. Um, which I think will be interesting to see like the posters and the debates and the opinions come out. Many Gen Zers who were 17 in 2020 and not quite old enough to vote were left frustrated that they were not able to vote in that major election between former President Trump and current President Biden. An article by CircleTufts.edu says that 8 million new Gen Zers will be eligible to vote in 2024, totaling in 41 million Gen Z voters this year. With a large new chunk of Gen Zers being excluded from past consequential elections, have older politicians in our government been overlooking issues that affect Gen Zers? I feel like somebody of that age to think that they would, you know, kind of understand like the state that we're in and like, I don't know, especially like with the housing crisis and stuff. Like, you know, I mean, I'm worried like when I graduate, am I going to be able to like have a home anytime soon or like stuff like that? And it just feels like, yeah, we're definitely kind of an overlooked portion of the population like looking into the future like there's not really much being changed that will like make any significant difference like especially for climate change going off of that generational gap between the government and gen z that you could see felt by those students a poll by cnn says that 19 percent of voters under the age of 35 feel uncertain about who they want to vote for and 12 percent of people over the age of 35 feel uncertain about who they are voting for with all these poll numbers it is really easy to wonder a how are they really getting all of these percentages and b are they really getting a clear idea of who Gen Z is voting for in a new digital age? Well, according to an article by Pew Research Center on polling, they said that many polling organizations have switched to contacting people primarily through the phone. This is commonly known as random digit dialing. One student says that a lot of young people probably do not answer any of these types of calls. Now, I definitely think, I, I'm, I definitely think the polls are, could be very easily skewed either way. Like, and yeah, very much like, again, like, yeah, the telemarketing, like, none of us, probably answer to telemarketers. The New York Times election poll shows Kamala Harris leading the polls by 3%, totaling in 49% of the polls, while Trump is at 46%. And with Gen Z ready to step up and vote this year, we will have to wait and see how Gen Z will impact this year's election. Reporting for Gen Z up to the ballot, I'm Sully Beach.